Hey, many of you probably think, what is an albergue and what am I going to sleep during my stay in Camino de Santiago? And this is actually what we're going to present today, giving you the overview of a few different types of albergues, refugees or gits all over the Camino de Santiago, doesn't matter if it's French, Portuguese or Via de Plata. So, if you're ready, let's go. As an introduction for today, you know it's all about albergues, the refugees, all the gids, depending on the language that you call. Um, and first of all, how do you book the albergue? This is the real-time example because this is day number seven from the Camino Frances and we're heading to Logroño. We still haven't booked our place and there's only 10 kilometers from the city. But if you're still not subscribed to this channel, don't doubt any moment, please subscribe and let's spread the good Camino vibes everywhere. Anyway, um, there is a few different ways to book the albergue for the night. You can do it as we do it, getting into the place and seeing whatever is available and just staying in the place. You can do it the night before. So let's just say last night we were in Los Arcos. So once we get there, you can call for the next day for the next night accommodation. Or you can simply from home reserve all your stay in Camino Santiago. So depending on the Camino that you choose, there are many types of albergues and and possibilities to stay. It also applies to different times of the year because it wouldn't be the same to travel in April and it wouldn't be the same to travel in August. So having this in mind, you can choose uh, which albergue and how to book it. But if I want to give you a little advice and if you want to accept it, just go with the flow. We still have around uh, 10 kilometers to Logroño and now, just only now, in the last village, just before, called Viana, we will call and see if there is an available place. Because we're just on the edge of the Easter period, which is a bit more busy. But otherwise, nah, nah, let the Camino surprise you, <laughs> let the life guide you, and let the hill be less difficult <laughs> anyway so now probably ask yourself uh, what are these albergues and how to choose which one to stay what can i find inside let's see a bit of more detail what is on the menu So normally what will happen is that albergues are the common places for all the pilgrims when they can sleep in, in a good, not too expensive conditions. For example, this is six bed, six bed room could cost you around 13 euros, $15 a night, including the blanket. But you can find many of them which are a bit cheaper. You can find many of them which are a bit of more expensive, public and private. One of the most characteristic things about albergues is sleeping on the bank beds. Probably most of them, if, if you don't have a, like a private room, they're going to be one upstairs, one downstairs and probably one next to the other one. And it is, doesn't matter if you stay in the private one or in the public one, the bunk beds is something that you will encounter absolutely everywhere. And now quick tip, as you're gonna sleep with a few people in one room, get your earplugs because it can get really, really nosy during the night. Normally in the price of albergues, you get a mattress, <laughs> and you also get a pillow and 
a bed. And sometimes they do provide a free linens, something to put on the top of your pillow or the top of your uh, mattress. So many burgers, they do have blankets. But if they do not provide blankets included in the price, probably you can rent them for around $2 or $3 a night. So maybe if you're really tight in the space in your bag, it's not necessary you take a sleeping bag with you. If you see this graffiti and if you see Mauricio, Mauricio, Hello. it means that we're getting close to Logroño. It's a busy Easter weekend, so we just called and we've been told that we're going to have a space in Alberga for sure. They're not going to leave us sleeping on the, uh, on the streets. <laughs> or on the floor maybe. <laughs> so pilgrims have always a place to stay. So you shouldn't really worry if, uh, if you have a place to, to spend the night because yeah, we're pilgrims. We're pilgrims and, and although not going to be a five-star hotel, you can always get someone, an albergue or a private person that will actually help you in this kind of circumstances. Long story short, we have a place to stay in Logroño without booking it previously. And the second option is you can stay in one of these albergues which belongs to the city council. These albergues are much more primitive than the ones that are uh, private. As you can see, this is a simple bed with a, a little thing, but you know what? <laughs> if you're tired, it doesn't really matter the bed. It doesn't really matter anything as long as there is a mattress on you can sleep comfortably plus of this type of albergues is the price because they can vary from 8 to 10 euros and it's a kind of reasonable price these ones are much bigger places than the normal private albergues there are actually up to 70 people sleeping in one big room this one actually is divided between different pieces but there are like one in Roses Valles, up to 100 something people can sleep in one place and they have also the bedrooms bathrooms and this is my friend Maurizio hello how are you <laughs> so as you can see you can have a fun anywhere you like and this is more economical option of albergues than the private ones Ha! Huh. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, as I thought before, many people were afraid of the Easter weekend, so they booked the places and they confirmed it on the way where pilgrims they were passing by and they told us that many of the places are closed. But you as a pilgrim, you have to trust that, that the way is always open. And here we are. Logroño. Let's see if actually it's true and let's see if we can get to Albergue and how it is Berges. Guys, yes, guys, it's confirmed. There are places here, so we're gonna stay in the municipal refuge, Alberga. All good, no reason to reserve before. A bit of stress, yeah, we had a bit of stress. No, not really. 
So let's see how the thing's inside, eh? Let's go. And yeah, we go here. Ta -da. This is one of those uh, city hot hostels that are available for pilgrims all the time. What actually they do, they can reserve, but once it's half full, they stop reserving and, and everyone who comes, uh, he can actually get a bed. And many of them actually do not reserve. So there is always a space for pilgrims. So, you see, not to worry too much because if you're a pilgrim, you're always going to have a place to stay. So the last important information about albergues are you need the credential. You need the credential that you will stamp. And so far I get one, two, three, four, five, a few stamps on my credential and every place I go. And this is a necessary requisite for staying in albergue. Uh, they will ask you as well for your proof identity and of course a little bit of cash. This is one. The second thing is, is uh, the albergue a safe space? And I have to tell you that I am not worried about living by things in albergue. Always I have to think what is the most reasonable way to do. And probably I'm going to keep my money with me. But I wouldn't be afraid. Like for example, now I'm charging my phone in a different room and I'm just talking here with you. There's another thing. Few advices that I can give you. The best beds are always the bottom beds. <laughs> because the bottom bed is always kind of more dark, more easy to go in after all day of work. And mainly it's just the more cozy place and the environment that sometimes you need a bit of more uh, peace and relax and pretty much that's all there's few other informations subscribe to the channel as always if you feel like invite me for the coffee which is a one-time donation for the artists uh, which the link you can find down below and now from here from Logroño on the day seven and hopefully we'll get to Santiago and maybe a month Time. If you feel like more information about what shoes to put on, there will be the link just here. And if you think about what to put in your bag, there will be link on the other side. This is all about from me. I will see you on the Camino. Love you all. I'm going to give you a big hug. Buen Camino.